join the captain and his crew when things go sour as their status quo is about to be turned upside down. How will the crew handle the weight of the corporate thumb, the hard cases of dangerous trade routes, their own greed? Find out as the Southern Dom Foolery Network presents Live and Let Fly. Everybody, we are back. It's episode two of Living Let Fly. How's everybody doing? Congratulations, you've done it. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> yes. oh, got shucks. through the first episode. Yeah, oh, shucks. Yeah. <laughs> Shucky dang darn. We survived. We survived. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. We, we did. We'll see we did how this right goes. Episode yeah. one, in my opinion. Yeah, we survived the grocery store. That can always be a tough situation. Yeah. I was say, there are yeah. days that I don't know that I will survive the grocery right. store. Oh, right. God, yeah. <laughs> Paralysis analysis is real. As a Southerner, I just want to say, I don't think the entire South should have to, like, blanket take, like, the credit for Emily just saying, shuck you dang darn. <laughs> like, no. That no, was an Emily thing, not no, like, yeah. We don't South claim thing. that. Actually, actually oh, that go. was that was not even an Emily thing. Emily got that from a trauma movie, uh, Cannibal the Musical. Are you saying oh. trauma or trauma? Trauma. Okay, I was trauma. like, are you just saying trauma huh. with a what is trauma? <laughs> yeah, uh, like the toxic Toxic Avenger and uh, Tromeo and Juliet and Orgasmo. These are all uh, movies. And Cannibal the Musical. It's Cannibal a bunch the Musical. Of, bunch it's of Trey crazy Parker. ass, like really weird, like Tr- almost Cabbage Patch style, Cabbage Patch Kids, not Cabbage Patch, I'm sorry, Garbage Pail Kids style yeah. movies. The, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Oh, Touch okay. Mm. But to set the tone, Trey Parker and Matt Stone oh, okay. are, are in a part of that. Gotcha. So. so it falls under one umbrella called like Troma, they're saying. Yeah, you know, it's much yeah, like it's sort of. much like the STF network. Yeah, we have yeah. come so far in the last two years. When we started our our podcasting careers, Emily knew nothing about movies, and now I didn't know True. what they were. Now she, she knows. Channel. Now she knows so much more than 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 I do. It's she has I a mean, whole channel dedicated indeed. to watching yeah. movies. I, I, they let me on them YouTubes and everything. It's mm-hmm. great. Uh, yeah, like, <laughs> I, I think you kind of forced your way on there, but you whatever. know, you just got to strong arm <laughs> your way through life. Sometimes, my friend. Sometimes you got to do that. You know. Yeah, you're, you're not wrong. Uh, I, you know, speaking of grocery stores, I forgot. To go to the grocery store <laughs> um, and get beer, which is the most important grocery. Mm-hmm. Um, Bruh. Some would, and, some would agree, yes. Yeah, yeah. and I don't mm-hmm. have any ice either. So I do Bruh. have like a liquor shelf, but I have no ice. So I improvised a drink because I found some frozen blueberries in oh, the freezer. Dude, that's perfect. You and have some, no beer and you must drink. Uh, but, <laughs> and some uh, limoncello <gasps> in, the, in there too. That was all, oh. also cold. So I mixed that with some gin. The blueberries, uh, a little bit of key lime, LaCroix. <laughs> no, uh, but okay. <laughs> LaCroix. Uh, yeah, LaCroix it's, it's like LaCroix. lemon lime blueberry deliciousness. I'm in love yeah, with that. It's pretty good. I wish it did have like actual ice that, you know, it's, it, it is a little like. Not exactly where you well, want it to be. Yeah, Adam, it's it's I, working. I will let you know that you have a faucet, multiple faucets that spout liquid ice. That is In true. Your home. That's what? true. I wasn't. You I didn't want to shock of you. Liquid ice. I will not consume any water in any format from the no- New Orleans uh, tap. <laughs> from New Orleans City tap. You know, yeah. That's right. Truche. Tr- tr- fair enough. Yeah, that's that just so that's just real. But you also have a fountain that you can use. One of the big blue barrel. Yeah, I do. I do have those, but I'm not trying to water down my drink. I'm trying to chill it. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I have a question for you, Adam. Like, yep. have you lived in Jackson before? Yeah, yeah. I went to high school in which, Madison. Which is worse, Jackson water or Nola water? New Orleans water. <laughs> wow, that's <laughs> Easily. impressive. That's Easily. Easily. It's disgusting. Yeah. It smells wow. bad when it comes out of the oh, faucet. Yeah. No, that's yeah. a bad time. Don't drink yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> that's what he was it's saying. Funny. <laughs> it's funny. Like, occasionally I'll, 
I'll come home and I'll see like a boil water notice. He's like, actually, hey, I'm like, hey, I'm like, boil water. water. I ain't even touching that on a good day. <laughs> yeah, you know exactly. I mean? like, <laughs> Anytime I use that water, it's boiling. It's boiling. Yeah. This whole thing was sketch even it's before just, I had mm-hmm. to boil yeah. the water. Right, yep. right. Oh, now you're telling me to boil the water. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, in New Orleans, you burl it. That's true. You gotta burl it. You gotta burl it. Gotta burl water notice. Gotta burl. Yeah. Well, well, everyone, how are you enjoying Living Let Fly? I mean, after one episode, I feel like you can make a comprehensive analysis. Yeah, I hate it. I hate it. Let's go back. Give me an assessment. Go back to. Make an assessment. Play the Dragon Queen. I think it's a tour de force. Like certainly, just on the edge of my seat at all times. Um, I think there's real connections. Yeah, I'm seeing some real story between all the characters. Like Mm -hmm. uh, you just just from one episode. Yeah, truly. True. I agree with that. I just love how everybody kept talking until Adam shut up about Five E. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna talk over that. We ain't got time for that shit. <laughs> Shut this son bitch down. He's talking uh, that nonsense. I mean, I'm I'm liking it so far. Uh, if I you know put my two cents in of my own will, of my own um, will. There you go. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm I'm enjoying so far playing the like weird buggy absolute sweetheart. You know. <laughs> yeah, I think this is like the first like real like weirdo character that we've had in our. In our network, right? Like it's the first like, kind of like, aggressively awkward. not uh, well, aggressively non-humanoid. I suppose. Right. I thought like, yeah, she would be really go. sad about you calling her a weirdo. Yeah, no, she's not, just no. a sheeran, and we've already dealt with enough prejudice. Yeah. yeah okay. 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 I'm talking <laughs> on a meta level here. I'm not. I would never call Tia to her face a weirdo. <laughs> oh, just behind her back, huh? <laughs> yeah. But like, to be fair, she literally s- says that. As a way of thanks, I vomit in your mouth. So, I like, come on. That's, that's because a translation. She's a, she's translation. a bug. Like, that's... To, well, the, that's my to other That's Sheeran, weird, he... to, But to other Sheeran, <laughs> it's not weird at all. That's like what you say. Of course. You know? yeah, yeah, they all vomit yeah. in each other's mouth. To hey. other swarm, to other swarm well, it's, it's not, not weird at all to hug not, somebody's hey, face. Hey, don't you call me a swarm, you motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, also... Don't you not, dare. That is... Don't you say the S word to... Even though Sheeran is an S word, but like, <laughs> don't say the bad one. Don't the, the say whole, the swa word. Oh, the whole boy. thing about the sheeran is that we broke away from the swarm and came mm-hmm. back into the loving embrace of the forever queen Hylax. Yeah, I'm yes. sorry, Zach. We tanked your podcast in yeah. episode Bro, I'm, two. I'm, I'm, I'm having a great time. I'm gonna let y'all keep. Ro- I'm not even gonna stop you to get into this session. I just want to see where this goes. I'm also gonna like get on uh, Tia's. Uh, you know, like yes same with the vomit in your mouth thing that's not uh just for insects birds do that shit right mm-hmm. like yeah that's a- it's called baby birding yeah mama birding you know <laughs> and, just and the- i will argue that is also weird <laughs> i will argue it's weird for face. a human to do that <laughs> yeah <laughs> not a bird well, to- look you hey. know Tia's not, not a human, and for another thing, it's not that she's actually vomiting in people's mouths. It's just an expression of like, yeah. I love you so much. I appreciate and value what you're saying. The compliment you gave me that if you wanted me to, I would vomit in your mouth. Absolutely, it's just an expression. It's just an it's expression. Just a not weird at all. You're right. It's about, it's about the convinced. implication. You know? It's about it's, thing, it's the implication. None of the crew is a human. There are no humans. There are no humans. That's accurate. Are like, no. well, Morgan, is, ha- Morgan is half a human. Yeah, That's not no, true. She's half an elf. No. I'm half an elf. The other half is. Yeah. Quit making assumptions over here. I assume human. Am I uh, correct uh, in that assumption? You assume. You're, you're assume. incorrect. You it's assume. Assume. Really, it's so act- what's Morgan's other half then? Please tell me. about it. It's Don't actually Sheeran. It's actually Sheeran. That's why they wear their hair really long, so you can't see their their Sheeran antennae buds coming I've, out. It's we're like, cousins. Like, you got a mm-hmm. problem? You mm-hmm. you know how I know that you're lying, Emily? Because I said something out loud. <laughs> <laughs> because no, I, I, I fully believe that if Morgan was half Sharon, that they would absolutely want to display their antennae. Yes, so I here's agree. the deal: I have actively decided in my brain this is this is canon that mm-hmm. uh, Morgan is not half human. Oh, really? I, uh, I will play that close to the chest. What the other half is? 
Mm. Fascinating. And okay. I, I I run this game, Emily. You, you know you have to tell me that kind of shit. I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna pray on it. I'm gonna ask Al mm-hmm. Shay. I'm gonna see about it. Mm-hmm. We'll see about Hi, it. Highlights be with you, Zach. Highlights <laughs> and also with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, th- th- this is still this is my first time ever playing like an overtly religious character either. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know? Yeah. Yep. Well, I'll give you a chance to play your overtly religious character a little more because we're about to start uh, episode two here. We're going to get into it. And when we last left you all, you discovered that uh, the little old lady with the petrol canisters was in fact a junk bot decoy working on behalf of a crew of space goblins who is currently at the back of your 80 foot long trailer filled with Runo Pratt's retirement shipment of yarrow berries and they're trying to steal your berries you got a junk bot decoy up front let's talk about some initiative rolls roland what'd you roll man uh i got a 21 a 21 Good starting initiative there solid i like We're it starting out with rolling 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 <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think we are, though, because I believe that Gadrick, uh, Josh, what did Gadrick uh, get for initiative? Gadrick got a 24. That's going to be hard mm. to beat. Did Vincent beat that, John? No, of course not. Vincent got a 10. Yeah, I knew that. I just wanted to embarrass you. Man. I love, yeah, I love yeah, how he says, yeah. of course not, like <laughs> we've had episodes establishing yeah. his terrible initiative. You know? mm-hmm. That's exactly what I'm saying. All right. Obviously not. <laughs> you just weren't listening. What about Hestia Halaxia? Uh, Hestia rolled a 17. Okay, 17. And last but not least, Morgan. Morgan got lucky number 13. Oh, very nice. Very nice. All right, folks, let's get some battle music going. Can we just take a quick second before we get into this battle to talk about how awesome Foundry is? Yes. We've, we've, we've recently made the switch. Yes. We're still learning it. So, you know, we don't know how awesome it is yet, but like already I'm in love I'm with loving it. it. If, yes. Yeah. It's, it's very neat. So let's, uh, first of all, I want to give a huge, huge shout out to our Passel Pal Sput, Patrick in yes. Sweden. Is a somewhat of a Zach, foundry Zach, guru. I have a question. Okay. I have a question. What's a passel pal? Uh, a passel pal is a friend of the pod. Uh, uh, someone mm. that that helps it's us more out. Than that. Okay. Yeah, well, it's what's on our a, what's team. A, yeah, they're on the, the team. Yeah. 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 It's an intern. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. An unpaid intern. <laughs> to be fair, we're all unpaid. Uh, we, so you know, it's whatever. <laughs> however, we shower our passel pals with love and affection at every chance that we get. Truly, we vomit and, in their and, mouths. And we vomit in their mouths. <laughs> <laughs> well, we vomit. We vomit all the Patreon reward tears into their mouths. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Anyway, Sput has done a fantastic job of helping me, uh, and also, you know, helping set up these maps, and just has done incredible work. I cannot thank him enough. You, yeah, thank you, you rock, man. Thank, thank you, you so much. Yeah. But yeah, so the scene here, we are in an area of uh, ships into the starport. You are on your uh, cargo rig. You are carrying an 80-foot-long trailer loaded down with yarrow berries that represents Bruno, Bruno so Pratt's retirement. Hard. You have a crew of goblins trying to swipe your cargo, as it were. So what are you going to do about it? Let's start with Gadrick. Gadrick, what on, are Gadrick. you going to do about it? In the driver's as seat. A, in the as driver's player, seat. I'm not sure. As Gadrick? <laughs> I'm going to run over that bot. All right, so the bot's in the mm-hmm. front. All right, right? so let, let, I just want to advise you, be- before I let you make an extremely stupid decision, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I, want, I want to just point out that there are no fewer than six tanks of highly flammable petrol that I I will go ahead and give you a taking a 20 on a perception check will absolutely explode if you run this over mm. Des- destroying your cargo rig and and probably and you. your shipment so I'll give you a chance to rethink that decision I like it but nah, it's just, dumb. Just do it. See if you can <laughs> look, see if you can break the AP in the second episode. <laughs> right. right. So, you can right. So, so here's the thing. The way that it's laid out on the map, there's space enough to be able to do that, to basically pull forward and then back up is what I was wanting to do. But if that's 
ridiculously stupid and would explode us. Gadrick is smarter than that. Josh may not be. But I Gadrick agree. Is. I agree. Gadrick is much smarter than that and would not make such a uh, a rash Foolhardy. decision. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what about putting this baby in reverse? You've got a bunch of goblins behind you. Run those fuckers yeah, over. Run them over. Absolutely. <laughs> that, that, that's well, that's right. a problem. <laughs> I guess, I guess the, the more pressing thing is the fact that there's... And it's not represented on the map here, but there's a traffic gridlock. Uh, okay. Uh, ah. As a result of this. That you, we gotta that, fight these things. Yeah, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to break my damn I'm AP just episode too. Just I fight know, the like, fucking goblins, okay? I'm just trying pilot. to get away from these fucking exploding barrels, I'm man. I'm a pilot. I drive break. things, and I'm in a truck, so... Look. Yeah, yeah. When, He's doing when you're his in job. a river, dog. <laughs> when you're you gotta in a fight truck. the goblins, okay? It's and, just how it is. Well, he lives his river. life a quarter mile at a time. So don't, <laughs> don't be like that. It's all about family. <laughs> We're family oh now. We work together for literally <laughs> dozens of a days. Month. <laughs> <laughs> Look, listen, when you drive a truck, every problem looks like a road. You know what I'm saying? So, right. like... We're just full of cloak. That works. <laughs> that works. <laughs> All right. I'm not mad at that one. <laughs> okay. All right, so... Put it on so I assume, Put it assume on it's already in park, then, right? Handbrake set. That would be why I will give you a free action to put it in yeah. park. How about yeah. that? <laughs> so, uh, pulls the handbrake, kicks open the door, and steps out. Did the uh, the bot up front look like a threat, or was it just cradling that petrol barrel and probably going to explode if I fuck with it? Uh, it doesn't look like not a threat. <laughs> okay, fair, 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 fair. <laughs> Josh, attack the bot. That's uh, yeah. I'm I'm a I'm a. Don't tell me how to live my life. No. no. Godric, oh my attack the bot. <laughs> See, that's not me telling you how to live your life. That's the captain telling <laughs> uh, you. Ah, yeah, right. see. Right. Got to work around All there. All right, so going up and with the first attack of the game, it's going to be a trick attack. My first trick attack ever. Okay. Oh. Mm. Wait, so what class are you then? <sighs> well, it's pretty clear I'm an operative. <laughs> Get fucked. <I> <laughs> 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 You're not GMing, it's fine. No, it's no, it's not. It's even worse as a player. <laughs> Oof, that's, uh, that is not... A good roll that will not beat 20 plus target CR. It was a three on the die, so there's no way that's happening. No. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull out, as I'm moving, pull out my uh, survival knife okay. and try and cut this baddie. All right. Sounds good. And that is a two on the die for a six to hit. Oh. A you know, six you to rolled hit. so good in the I first did. episode, but now we're back into Straight back to me. So as you attempt to swipe this uh, this junk bot with your knife, it sort of uh, comes to attention uncharacteristically and manages to like just narrowly dodge out of the way of your swipe. Sorry, bud. That beautiful roll, though. All right, so we are moving along to Roland. Oh man, we are a good bit away from these goblins, and I assume if I were to move straight down the bed of the cargo truck bed that that's difficult terrain right it's so. definitely difficult terrain yeah and i might even want like an acrobatics check to make right. sure you so. don't break some of those crates of yarrow berries yeah. yeah so i'm gonna you know screw that mm -hmm. i'm going to jump off the truck okay and then i'm going to so that's five feet to jump off yep. right and yep. then so that's 25 feet to move there part of that move action you see he has this like purple light little moat that kind of hovers over his shoulder and as he jumps down he kind of like pulls it into his hand and this glaive forms in his hand and like yeah keep your emails to yourself keep your discord <laughs> comments to yourself I know that that's a two handed weapon I'm wielding it as a one handed weapon because glaives look cool and also like it's just a solar weapon or mm -hmm. actually it's a lunar weapon it's a lunar weapon it's so describe, lunar. describe the glaive describe the glaive you know this is a kind of a big deal right right so um it has a somewhat technological look despite being made fully from energy yeah okay so here's how i'm f flavoring the lunar weapon because i don't really want it to be like of the moon mm -hmm. you know like it's the reflection of the star off the moon's surface right so it's still starlight but it's dampened because it's a reflection you know okay and if you know anything about Velakas and the planet they come from, their star is dying, so in that is how he connects to this, right? And so it has this kind of purple, kind of 
dull light that forms in his hand. And, you know, it's got a pretty standard staff part of it, but at the end it has this real kind of sharply designed blade uh, that has some etchings in it, some ancient, like, Velaka, you, you know, language when it was still hieroglyphic form. You know in, what I mean? In Velaka, like, it says, lift, laugh, love. <laughs> it says, wolf pack of one. <laughs> it says none of those things. None of that's canon. I don't have what it says canon yet, but it's not those. Um, and then I'm going to use the second movement, too. Okay, so Get Roland closer. jumps down off of mm-hmm. the uh, the back of the cart and just runs uh, parallel with the cart, heading to the back towards the goblins. Correct. Right. Gotcha. 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 All right. So. Uh, and I will say as a free action to the team. All right, crew. This is our first combat. Stay with it. Stay strong. Stay focused and call out if you need help, please. And as he's running towards the goblins. So as you're running towards the goblins, you notice one of them, as a full round action, run up, grab a crate of Yara Berries off the back, and load it back on to one of his junk cycles. E- each one of these junk cycles, there appear to be three of them, each one has like a rack in the back, and then like two big saddle bags, and he loads one onto it. He does all that in one turn? It's a full round action, yep. Wow. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, all right. take so it up with Paizo, like, bro. Not my problem. Yeah, no, he's got like 500 credits worth of shit on his junk cycle. Is that what you're saying? I'm, I'm telling you right now, he does. And then nice. in the next two turns, two more of them do the exact Man. same and load up one full inner cycle or one full uh, junk cycle loaded down it's got three crates of yarrow berries of your yarrow berries of of bruno pratt's retirement yarrow berries loaded Mm. onto it no no this is no good hestia you're up hestia has an interest in in many things mechanical she's going to jump down and approach uh, and as a free action i'd like to roll a knowledge engineering to determine the machine's purpose do you so what do you want to know i guess uh, I, I mean, I want to know, is it just constructed to basically be a distraction and to stop us, or if it has, like, combat capabilities? Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Go ahead and roll, um, I guess that's a physical science. Engineering. Engineering? engineering. Okay, engineering. Due to my theme benefits, I reduce the DC of engineering checks to identify creatures and tech by five. So that is a 13 on the die plus uh, plus three for my is my bonus. So 16 total. Okay, so I can tell you th- three pieces of information. Yeah, special abilities, and then I guess resistances. And okay. And I don't know what else. Weaknesses. Okay. Weaknesses. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So <clears throat> it is a construct. So uh, it doesn't have any any resistances. It has construct immunities. Oh shit! I shouldn't even ask that question because I knew it was a construct. Yeah. Already. Well, but your character didn't, so you had to you have to ask that. We're at low level, so it's well, that was a good question. Yeah. This junk bot, fashioned to appear as an old Lashunta woman, she's wearing a cloak, kind of covering up most of the mechanical aspects. Uh, but you do see two hoses coming from either cheek down into what appears to be a petrol tank in in the robot's chest and uh it has a breath weapon attack oh, as a special okay. ability uh now in terms of weaknesses it is unstable so if it is uh, critically hit while it has any petrol left in that tank it will in fact explode fuck okay <laughs> okay so. All right, fly for your die. All right, all right. Right. Chill. Just, okay, we see you. All right, damn. <laughs> yeah, so Hestia learns that the junk bot is unstable and doesn't necessarily want to attack her when there's all these, or, or the bot, I don't know if it's actually her, when all these flammable uh, things are around. So she's going to use her Sheeran limited telepathy to give that information to the captain who is just within her 60 foot range on the other side of the little transport barge thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. So she pops into your mind and says, 
captain, the uh, construct uh, ahead of the ship is unstable, will it explode if if attacked too vehemently, and has uh, what is referred to as a breath weapon. I mean, as a free action, the, the captain's like, well then stay away from it. Uh, we cannot allow this these berries to be exploded. Be careful. Agreed. Uh, and Hestia will jump off of the her place on the on the trailer, and will run as much as she can towards the back of the ship to assist in combat. Okay, you jump on the north side or the south side? I think the north side. Okay. Okay, and so that'll that's be five, five feet. feet. Yep. Okay, so I have another seventy-five feet. So I can get all the way down the trailer, basically. Okay. To the very end of the trailer. To the to the goblins. Yeah. Well, I'll be one space away. There'll be a, a there'll be a space between me and the closest goblin. Okay. You can do that. And that and that will be Hestia's turn. The other goblin sneak thief is going to spend the full round action to load a crate of yarrow berries onto another one of their junk cycles. Uh, basically tr- scrambling as fast as they can. They're, they don't appear to want to get into a fight with you. They just want to get the loot and go. This really is some Fast and Furious shit, though, dude. <laughs> now I'm really wishing like, that yeah. I'd actually put it in reverse and run over their damn bikes. Well, yeah, the bikes but you can damage the crates and spill yeah, fruit probably. everywhere for, for inevitably a motorcycle to ramp through in a cool Fast and the Furious <laughs> shot. <laughs> Morgan, you're up. All right, so Morgan is uh, in the cab. They want to step out to the north. Okay, that's be five feet of your movement there. And let's see here. Oh, man, look, those guys are are way down there. Uh, So they're going to use the remaining amount of movement to get as close to the goblin in front of Tia as possible. So we got to run down to the east side of this road, I guess, try and get these goblins that are trying to make off with our cargo. Mm-hmm. Which I, I just don't like, I'll tell you. So, poop, poop my goop. Yep, so you can get about halfway down the length of the trailer with a full round action. Yeah, yeah. Full round, yeah. They're just gonna move all the way down. Done. All right, so that's the end of that, huh? The wow. junk bot decoy is up next. Gadrick, you're right here in this thing's grill. Yeah. Okay. And <clears throat> you see these fuel lines filling up into into the goblin or into the junk bot's cheeks, and it is going to spray its breath weapon on you in a 15 foot cone. Oh no. I'm right next to a so barrel. You are right next to a barrel. So when this fire hits that barrel, it's going to explode as well. I don't like this. I, I don't blame you at all. So here is the deal, okay? I need you first to roll a reflex save to take half damage on the breath weapon. Because you're looking at... A decent amount of damage here. Ooh, how does a 15 do? A 15 is good oh enough, my, my friend. Good. good, good, good. A 15 is good enough. Let's see how much you're going to take from this. Okay, you are looking at... Uh, the full damage is 11. Half of that is 5. So you're going to take 5 fire damage from that. And then as that happens, that, that fire comes out in a cone and reaches one of those unstable petrol tanks, and it explodes. And I need you to roll another <laughs> reflex save. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, that's a that's Fuck. a 19. 19 is good enough. That'll work. Let's see how much you're taking. One damage. You man, your nimble Yosoki manages to just like yeah. Thread the needle on both of these explosions and minimize the amount of damage that, that you would take. Yeah, I've got a plus so six it, on reflex, so. So Lucky. a total of six damage from the petrol tank exploding there um, and the breath weapon hitting you. Cool. Well, uh, I have one stamina. 
Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> wow. All right. Okay. So Vincent, you're still on the truck, and you see this happen. What are you gonna do, man? All right. Well. Vincent is going to take a look out the mirror, kind of gauge what's going on in the back real quick. He sees that the goblins are starting to uh, pick up the pace with uh, getting rid of uh, all our cargo. But instead, he sees his boy Gadrick up in the front, and he's going to go ahead and kick open that back door. And he's going to go ahead and step down. Okay. Vincent is going to head eastward and commit uh, to engaging the junk bot. Uh, with Gadrick. Okay. Yeah. So you can, if you don't want to provoke an opportunity attack, you can move right there to the northeast of yes. the junk bot. Correct. And that's going to be the, that's your full round. That's your that's your full round action. That is my full round. Correct. All right. Do you have a, a BAB? Do you want to ready a weapon, or are you just gonna you gonna punch it? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and re- uh, ready a weapon. Okay. What do you what weapon are you gonna ready? I'm going to go ahead and ready a stun baton. A stun baton. Your edge corp issued. Correct. Okay. All right. I like it. And that brings us to the end of round one, everyone. (laughs) All right. (laughs) At the top of the round, we have Gadrick. Gadrick, you just got... I I would imagine your fur is a little singed at this point after taking that breath weapon and the canister explosion. It's a pretty sick burn there, Zach. It was. It was. Yeah. <laughs> so what that you gonna do, man? No, the mustache is immaculate. How dare you? <laughs> it's waxed so much that it wasn't even touched. The mustache has dr thirty. Dr thirty. That's standard. Yep. Hardness fifteen. <laughs> Fire resist ten. Yeah. I, he's he's gonna trick attack him. Trick attack the bot. Get him. A smart Let's do it some stealth can try and get a sneaky little stabby stab in. How does a 22 do? A 22 definitely, oh, yeah, sorry. that's going to get sorry, it. 25. I was looking at the wrong skill. Either one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, then I'm going to attack now. Oh, that's a 19 on the die for a 23 Ooh, to hit. Go. Okay, that's a hit. Uh, yeah, KAC with the knife, yes. right? Yeah. Remember that if he succeeds on a trick, you're flat-footed against the following attack. Just remember that. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, either way, yeah, it hits. Yeah, it hits, right. But just for future. Yeah. Right. And let's see. Trick attack at this level is what? 1d4, I believe? I believe so. Right, so that's 2d4 of damage. Oh, 7 damage. Nice. Very nice. Go. Very nice. That's good damage for level 1. That's you know? to say. That's solid stuff. That's some top tier level one it damage. Really yeah. <laughs> uh, Seven points. Yeah, that's uh, that's Gadrick's turn. It's so weird coming off a of level know. ten star it really is. into level one. All Ooh. right, so you you just slash at this thing trickily for seven damage total. Correct. All right, solid solid play, man. I like it. And that's a full round trick attack, right? Correct. Okay. Good good play. We are now at Roland. All right. Gosh, I'm close enough, right? I'm close enough. Yeah, I can get right there. So move 25 feet further forward, which puts me in striking range of one of the goblins. Mm-hmm. All right. I've got my lunar glaive in the hand. Uh, I would now be on my second. I didn't say this last time, but the first round, I went ahead and started attuning to the photon Uh huh. and so this is now my second round of attunement okay. towards that sure um, and that gives me a plus one to damage right I believe so yeah all right so I'm gonna attack then with this leaner glaive okay uh, that's not a great roll does a no a 10 not gonna do it huh against uh, is that KAC, K-A-C. All right, so you just nearly missed the goblin sneak thief there. And now we have three goblins coming up back to back. And they they see you approaching, Roland. And they're like, yeah, okay then, is it gonna be that way, huh? <laughs> and, um, and it pulls out, let's see. A white flag and surrenders and returns the berries. 
No, not quite. No. Damn. Uh, the 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 sort of goblin in the southeast is going to take a step out and and draw its oh just a tactical semi-auto pistol. Oh great. Okay. Just just that. All right. Just pulls out a little Glock on you, bro, and it's gonna take a <laughs> shot. <laughs> okay. All right. Now tell me, does a oh gosh a nineteen hit your KAC? Uh, oh, definitely so. All right, so the goblin finds purchase and hits you for three damage as you take take that shot. Ugh, okay. All right, so that is the first goblin. The second goblin, this is in the northeast corner, or northwest of the goblin group, I suppose, is going to take a step toward Hestia and swing on Hestia with that uh, dog slicer. It's a melee weapon that it has. But I am not a dog. <laughs> Indeed, you are not. And maybe because of that, it misses you. So, safe this time. Use your tools properly. <laughs> <laughs> the next goblin sneak thief is going to spend its full round to grab one more crate of yarrow berries and load it onto one of its junk cycles. So now that's four crates, I believe, that we have on the junk cycles. I don't like it. Uh, yeah, that is four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hestia, they're getting away with with your cargo. What are you, what are you gonna do about it? You got one right in your face. So are all four of them on motorcycles? Well, they're not currently on motorcycles because they jumped off of them in order to start loading the berries. Right, right, so so you can you uh, can just imagine that the junk cycles are behind them, if you will. There's three of them. There's four goblins, three junk cycles. One has three crates of yarrow berries on it. The other has one. Okay. Um, <clears throat> as a free action, there, there's one directly in the square in front of Hestia, and she looks at uh, this little goblin and says. Would you please give our yarrow berries back? Not a fucking chance, dumbass! <laughs> <laughs> okay, goblin. And she says, I tried. And uh, she's going to pull out... Okay, so we have garbage weapons at this point, by the way. Uh, we don't even really have weapons. Not even weapons. weapons. Yeah, yeah. Like, we have tools, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, so she's going to pull out her tool, uh, an extra, uh, utility excavation drill. Uh, and try to drill into this. God it's a, it's a melee weapon, so she's gonna like. I tried. Hylax only requires that to flee. Um, and tries to drill into the I guess the chest of this little goblin. Okay. Okay. This is this is absurd to me. Uh, where where is the captain? Can you tell me that? Out the view on the other side of the trailer. Ah, uh, it's not within ten feet. Okay. So yeah, I'll get. I'll try to attack it. I was hoping it was within ten feet. Oh, dude, it's a natural 20. It's a natural 20. It's a natural 20. Oh, my goodness. You weren't ready. You weren't ready for the ham horns. I fully did not expect to roll a ham horn. Zach, do you want to take this opportunity to explain how criticals are going to work in this game? You're just going to roll double damage right now. As we get higher levels, we'll have more information for you about criticals. Oh, At level much. one, I just, if you if you roll a natural twenty, you're gonna deal double damage, and there's no more to that. As we get further in the AP, that might change, <laughs> and we'll talk. There's no about mind about it. Let's not be cagey. There's, <laughs> there's it absolutely will change, made. but for right now, it's just you get a twenty, you uh do do twice as much damage. Yay! That's what's Congratulations. Up. That's what's up? <laughs> you got it. So the <laughs> utility excavation drill is a 2d4 piercing weapon. Very cool. Nice. Uh, that'll be nine damage. So tell me, Hestia, how do you use this drill to <laughs> murder this goblin snake thief? <laughs> yes! <laughs> so as I said, I mean, uh, Hestia approached very calmly, said, can I please have the, <laughs> the Yara Darius back? 
And he said no and was kind of insulting about it. And she just very quickly and a little bit emotionlessly just pulled it out. And I think she just like caught him right in the neck and just drilled into his neck. <laughs> <laughs> then I will take them back by force. Yeah. The new premier the, the, grimdark the, the, podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the attempt, the the attempt at diplomacy death. is all that Hylax requires of me. Yeah, damn. You made a choice. Cold blood. Yeah, so you just bury this drill in this goblin's chest, and and blood and guts yeah. and internal organs just go spiraling around your drill bit, and it falls over dead. Nice. 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 I have, I, and she telepathically says to the captain, I have secured one uh, of the motorcycles with three crates of yarrow berries upon it. <laughs> and, the, and the captain looks at you and does that, like, dog wink that dogs do. You know, that's kind of just like, not, it's not really too emotive, but they're just like, you know, it's just like little, subtle, like, yeah. <laughs> this is no time to be. <laughs> I can't he's, help it. He's a doggo. Can't help. <laughs> yes, this is this is who I am. All right. I am I am cute. I am cute. <laughs> so next up, we have the final remaining goblin sneak thief, and it's gonna be like, holy shit, they got George, <laughs> and <laughs> and is going to attempt to move away and start its junk cycle loaded up with the yarrow berries. However, Roland, you will get. An attack yeah, of opportunity. Yeah, I got a problem with as that. As it moves away. All right, here we go. Come on. All right, that's a 19 on the die for a 23. I believe that's going to hit, yes. All right, so as he swings, you see the blade part of the glaive all of a sudden catch on fire. <laughs> and like this little bit of flame. It's not very much, but just like a little like coat of flame. <laughs> As it gets hot, as he swings it, we're gonna do one d four plus one d one. Okay, okay. Uh, and that was rolled on my new Norse Foundry die, the Mardi Gras. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, nice. Die. So yeah, that's an really awesome sweet. set. It is like I, I really legit have Mardi Gras die right now. <laughs> with STF on it. Yeah, which is super. yeah. Shout out Extra. to Eric and the Norse Foundry crew. Yes, for those. All right. So with Lunar Weapon, I kind of give up a little bit of damage. I don't get my strength bonus, but uh, that's going to still do a total of three damage. Okay. Uh, two of it um, kinetic, you know, uh, slicing and one of it for fire. You get a solid hit on that goblin, but it still manages to get away. And jump it manages to get on its bike. It manages to get on its bike. Yeah, and yeah. and uh, it hasn't it hasn't gotten away yet. But you can imagine that if you don't do something about this, next time it gets a chance, it's out of here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, heads up, Morgan. What you gonna do? All right. So Morgan is going to keep on trucking along the truck and get pretty much just about five feet behind uh, Hestia and all I can see is is this guy where I'm hovering is he the one on the motorcycle no the one the one just south of it well I can't see that one so Morgan's going to attempt to daze the one goblin that they can see okay um, so that is going to be a will save for that gabbler. A will save for the gabbler. Okay. I can do that. What's the DC? That's going to be 13. Okay. I'd really like for you to, s to fail it. Uh, well, I got a dirty 20, so. Well, oh. I guess just fuck off then. Um, <laughs> sure thing. Cool. All right, I'll do that. We'll see ya. Yeah. All right. So Morgan, yeah, Morgan tries to do like non-lethal damage, uh, even though Tia just drilled into this one guy, <laughs> but uh, fails terribly, and that's their turn. Okay. All right. Was I not supposed to end these criminals? <laughs> no, I'm just trying not to use spell slot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Use the spell slots, please Morgan. do. <laughs> so we're back to the junk bot decoy and it sees Vincent moving up on it behind it and it turns around and Vincent you see the, 
the petrol tubes connected to its cheeks fill up with liquid again as it casts a breath weapon directly at you. Uh -huh. Now, you are directly in front of a petrol tank. So, again, I'm going to need you to first roll a reflex save to save against the breath weapon itself. So, Vincent got a 16 plus 2. So, that's going to be an 18 on that reflex. All right. Nice. Very good. You're going to take half damage from that. So, it's going to be a total of 4 damage. All right. That so, that's going to put him at 6 stamina. Okay, now roll me another reflex save to uh, for half damage on the petrol tank. Okay. All right, so that is a 17 total. That is going to be half damage on that, so you'll take three. So you're going to take a total of seven damage, fire damage, from these two uh, various hazards. As, uh... Hey, you're hanging in there, though, huh? That's right. So he's got three stamina. Nice. Still okay. in the stamina. Got Still in it. Good. Still in it. And that is the junk bot's turn. Vincent, you get a chance to retaliate. How, how you want to do it, man? Oh, right. So he's got his uh, stun baton in his arm, and uh, he's going to go ahead and take a full attack on uh, old junk bot. Okay. That's a bold move at level one, the full attack. I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. But I want, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just try anyway. Against so KAC let's... too. Yeah. Well, no, no. It's a uh, what's it called? It's a uh, electric, electric prod. So wouldn't that be energy? A EAC. Oh, it's EAC. Okay, you're right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get him, John. Get him. All right. So that's uh, is going to be a fourteen. Plus three, that is a 17. Against EAC? Against EAC. For your first hit? Yes. And so what, man, that's a, and that's with the negative four? That, no, no, that it isn't. Thank you for reminding me. So that's going to be a 13. <laughs> catch. A 13 against, Correct. against EAC. EAC. Correct. Is a hit. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Before we start rolling uh, damage, let's go ahead and try oh. that second attack. Okay. And that is going to be a negative one. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the three on that. <laughs> okay. So, that's all right. Let's go ahead and wow. get that damage. That's going to be 1d4 plus two. Let's go ahead and try the new STF Foundry or Norse Foundry die. And I got a three on the die. That's going to be five damage electric. Five damage. That's a good solid hit, man. Absolutely a solid hit. And he's just going to say, uh, oh, hey, shit, so we're more effort than you. <laughs> it, it doesn't seem to understand. No, no. He just likes to shit talk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am a junk bot. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I see what you did. Well, that, hey, that was a really solid hit, Vincent. For what it's worth, it, this seems it, it's like like pieces of of scrap seem to be hanging off of this junk bot as if it's it's fairly damaged. Yeah. All, All right. right. It's a solid round two, folks. Y'all y'all are bringing it in, bringing it in. <laughs> Top of round three, <laughs> Mr. It. Gadget Tusker. Well, what you gonna do? Old Gadget Tusker is gonna. The toughest goddamn mustache <laughs> you've ever seen. <laughs> uh, nah, you don't get to take that. Uh, don't crit. While while uh, this bot is this is where he's gonna is crit, distracted. Yeah, that'd be my luck. Uh, while this bot is distracted with Vincent, or or is is doing the breath attack with Vincent, Gadrick takes the opportunity to do a trick attack using stealth to try and slip one in on him. Uh, that's a... That's big numbers for level 1. 19 plus 13, so 32 on the trick attack. Jesus Christ, yeah! Yeah, Fuck yeah, yeah, that gets it, man! Yeah, so uh, the attack roll is an 18 plus 4, so 22 to hit. That's a nice, chunky hit, my friend. Let's see how much damage you deal. 2d4 damage, that's 4 damage. All right. Nice, nice. What uh, do you do? You have a uh, condition that you impose? No, no not yet. 
okay. you gotta be level right. three before one. that happens. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I got to roll an extra D four. See, I can't. My I, other D four. Yeah. <laughs> See, I can't remember because I, I started. Oh, I mean, yeah. like operative. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Gadrick, with 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 the junk bot's back turn, you managed to get a solid hit in what would be its kidneys if it had kidneys. Fair. I'm okay with that. Wish All it, right. Wish it were dead, but. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, that would have been nice yeah. if you'd kill it yeah. this time. Yeah. Roland, you're up. You've got two goblins guarding the third goblin who is currently jumping on to a junk cycle to make off with your Yarrow Berries. What are you going to do about it? Alright. I'm now on the third round. Indeed. Of being <laughs> well, what does that mean? That means <laughs> that I'm going to step up and I'm going to Unleash a supernova. Step up to take to the streets. <laughs> in your in your mind, you hear Captain. Just ask for them back first. <laughs> <laughs> he just looks at you and shakes his head. No. And uh, he like brings the, his glaive in front of him and holds it with two hands and just like focuses and like there's like a snarl in his in his lips. In this like purple light just of, of purple flames just kind of explode out of him. Um, I need all those goblins right there to roll a reflex save. Okay. Yes. All right. So we'll start Good. with the northern one, then we'll do the center one and the southern one. Okay? Okay. First one rolls a 19. All right. All right. The second one rolls a 7. All right. That's a That's fail. the one on the cycle, by the way. Nice, perfect. And then the third one rolls a 12. All right, so that's two and three both fail. Okay. All right, so one is going to take half damage. The other two are going to take full damage of 2d6. Here we go. Oh, that is an STF on the die on one of those sixes. Okay. And then a five on the other, so that's 11 fire damage. Two take 11, one takes five. Okay, so. Fucking noise. The northern goblin is singed beyond all belief, is barely hanging on. The goblin on the junk cycle and the southern goblin are instantly incinerated. We'll see (laughs) (laughs) And But I will say, for Roland's part, when he steps up, so, Hestia, you were kind of looking at Roland, right? You were saying, oh, you know, just ask him for a back first. And he shook his head. And then, like, yes, all of a sudden... And then you can murder them, according to <laughs> yeah. High Max. Like, you That's saw him rule. kind of, like... <laughs> not His eyes didn't roll in the back of his head, but he kind of glazed over a little bit. And he was just, like, overcome with this, like, rage or this... He, it, when he does this explosion of the supernova, when he comes to... He's like no longer attuned. He's like back to just Roland. He kind of looks around like, "Oh shit, I, I, I did that. I, I didn't know I could do that." <laughs> <laughs> oh, first time. Well. Yeah, yeah, uh, it was actually. Now here's huh. the thing, though, Roland. I am going to roll a uh, a fifty-fifty chance to see if these yarrow berries. Mm. Take Fucked any it damage. You right, destroyed so all I, the yard. I thought about that, and I will still. Uh-huh. You, know, you still want to do it after I read this? That's you and I. Okay. I all right. Well, you. what you got? But as stated in Supernova, mm-hmm. it's to all creatures within ten feet of you. It says specifically creatures. Specifically targets however, creatures. All right. In, in that case. However, however, I like. I like the call that you well, make. Here's here's you the know, real because I thought about it. Nobody you know, asked for GM advice. Here's the real question. You tell us what you can do. These like South Park style member berries because those were very much no. alive. And if not, no, cargo's good. They they are not member not berries, member and so uh, rules is written. They're all right. All right, all right. For what it's worth, Zach, I liked the idea of the fifty. I I, I, I have call. not uh, read up on the specific. 
you know, even though I, I have a character that can do supernova, I just didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but it seemed like a, a flaming inferno erupting out of you might damage them. It's very, it's very controlled, even though he had no idea he could do and, it, and this is the first time he's ever yeah, done it. Yeah, somehow it all works out, right? <laughs> somehow just tendrils of purple flame went directly to the goblins and nowhere else. Roland, excellent turn. Excellent turn. Thank you. Very well Thank done. Uh, we have... I'm living my dreams right now, Zach. I'm living my dreams. <laughs> Wolf Jedi. Thank you. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm satisfied with this AP right now. So the, the final <laughs> remaining goblin is like, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit! And throws... That's what I would have said, Throws too. the goblin's corpse off of, off of the junk cycle and attempts to jump on it themselves in order to get away. That's going to take its whole turn. So we are back to you, Hestia. <laughs> uh, Hestia, as she's about to start approaching, uh, uses her limited, limited telepathy in the mind of the goblin and tries to say, you know, if, if there were any sliders that you have on your like screen mentally for how to make uh, limited telepathy sound, it's supposed to be ominous sounding. Uh, even though she's probably not very ominous sounding, but she says. You really should, of your own will, give us back the berries. And she's gonna approach. <laughs> <laughs> like you hear the you, roar you get, of the drill no approaching from the <laughs> goblin, except that it's like furiously fumbling with the keys and trying to get the get the bike started. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be oh, responding positively. If you want to use an action to do a diplomacy check, you certainly can. Or an intimidation. No, I don't do intimidate. Okay. Um, I asked for the damn member berries back. That's what I did, and if he's not giving them to me, then I'm attacking him. Okay. <laughs> Gonna drill his face. <laughs> this is not a drill. This is. <laughs> this is. This is. This is, is not a drill. drill. I mean, this is a this drill. drill. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a drill. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, okay. So, no, okay. I feel bad. I am going to try the full on diplomacy to give him to give him back. You're going to do the action, though. Yes. All right. And so, I, again, I, I felt like that was more of an intimidate what you said. You really should give the berries back. So, if you want to try <laughs> diplomacy, you give me. You got to give me what. What you do would I gotta add? Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking nicely. Okay, if this is gonna. I'll let you roll I it. I didn't say if you want to save your life, you should give the berries back. I said you really should. <laughs> All right, go ahead and go ahead and roll diplomacy then, and that that is will be your action. So, that will be a. 15, but I think I get a plus 2 to diplomacies. Yeah, I do get a plus 2. Okay. So, that'll be a 15 plus 2 makes it a 17. Well... She, she in uh, cultural fascination gives them a plus 2 to diplomacy. Well, unfortunately, that's not gonna get it. That's not quite enough. The <laughs> goblin's like, no way! Fuck off, you crazy murderous bug! <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> You are the robber. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Morgan, you're up. All right, so Morgan's got to watch and Tia uh, attempt to be congenial <laughs> to this uh, goblin guy, <laughs> and it doesn't seem to be taken. Uh, so Morgan kind of stays where they are, and... Um, um, so it's not working then, Tia, right? Uh, all right. And they kind of, like, raise their hands to the sides of their heads for just a second, take a deep breath, and as they exhale, they are going to cast Mind Thrust. Oh, shit. There it is. Head's gonna um, go pop. So, yeah, uh, that's gonna be a um, DC 14 will save for half. Right. So, here's the thing. This goblin has one solitary hit point remaining. <laughs> and so regardless, you explode this creature's mind and it falls over limp on the ground. Oh. The goblins Damn. are dead. However, we have a junk bot decoy at the front of the truck still remaining. 
Morgan's gonna call out and be like, oh, oh, I, okay, well, uh, all right, guys, I think we got it. It's all taken care of. The berries are fine. We have saved them all. We've saved the berries. There's Come join us and rejoice and eat some berries with us. <laughs> we have like no idea what's going on. No, no Don't clue. eat the damn cargo. There is, <laughs> there is still a flame spewing robot at the front of the ship. A what now? You have not taken care of that yet. The junk yes, bot decoy. It is quite unstable. Uh, with that, Morgan will say like, oh, oh dear. Um, all right, on my way. And we'll use their move. To move back. move back yeah. back up towards the front back of the, of the, the cargo front of the rig. Truck. Okay. Yeah. The junk bot decoy, for its part, will take a five foot guarded step backwards and attempt to spew hot fire all over Gadrick Tosker's beautiful mustache. So go ahead. Hang on every round breath weapon yeah, at level that's nuts. one. That's yeah, brutes. It does. I, I, it's it's pretty it's pretty legit but, actually. Yeah, we, we can handle it. We're professionals. Fuck off, uh, Gaddy's like I must ask you to not do that. <laughs> All right, Gadrick. Here's the deal, man. Here's the deal. Okay. Yeah. What's up? You got to roll a reflex save, and I'm just gonna say, uh-huh. regardless of how finely waxed your mustache is, if you fail this reflex save. This breath weapon is going to singe that mustache. You're trying to make me lie about my dice roll. What'd you roll, man? <laughs> I haven't rolled it yet. Let's see. Uh, that's a 16. Your mustache is safe for now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Natural 10 plus oh, thank 6. God. You're only going to take 3 fire damage I'm from that my attack. HP, though. All right. You're in your yeah, HP. Yeah, 6 left. Oof, okay. All right, that's the junk bot's turn. Vincent, what you gonna do, All my right. friend? So Vincent is gonna follow by stepping, uh, guarding, guard stepping five feet directly to his northeast. Okay. And he's gonna go ahead and attempt to uh, swing once with his electric stun baton. Okay. That is a 19 on the die, making it a 21 EAC. That's a that's a juicy hit, my friend. We give me some big damage. That is going to be five damage again. And you thrust this stun baton right into the junk bot, and it just sparks and electrifies until it falls over limp. Yes. Hell oh, yes. yes. Congratulate. Excellent. Oh, not you, Vincent. Oh no, no I no, ain't no. dead. You're not dead. You're not <laughs> dead. Don't worry. <laughs> It's okay, oh. buddy. It's okay. That was a mistake. <sighs> All right, so folks. So the so non-lethal pride killed the bot. Well, it doesn't kill it, but it's a bot. It's so and like, it's electric. It just disables okay. it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I don't know how those things work. We don't use non-lethal weapons in the other games. No, it's time for us to get some lethal weapons. Zach, yeah. what is this bullshit All right. starting us off no, with no, no we, lethal No, no, we got some fucking loot coming in. So Look, here's we the deal. We're not adventurers. <laughs> here's the deal, folks. As soon as you finish filling these foes in the very far distance, you start to hear sirens as oh. if the authorities are on their way. You have just a few moments uh, to make a choice. Now, I'm going to let you loot these bodies if you want to, but what you have to decide... And what I need to know is, are you going to stay and let the authorities um, handle the situation and be interviewed and everything like that? Now, I want you all to roll a culture check for me real quick. All right. That's a 13 for Gadget. Okay. That's an 11 for Vincent. Mm-hmm. I'll say, like, while everybody's rolling, the captain says, all right, team, everybody to me. Let's discuss this situation. That's a 21 for Morgan. And if this is about customs, the the DC will be lower by five. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Morgan, what what are you sensing? All right, I, I will tell you. Those of you who who you know, it's Morgan. Didn't, yeah, Morgan. It's, Morgan. <laughs> it's Morgan. Morgan would know that the Castrovillian authorities are very bureaucratic, and that even just an interview for a, a self defense case could take up to twenty four hours. Of being held to resolve. Oh, we so ain't got you... time for that. Nope. Yeah. Um, so as we're kind of like going over to move the fucking crates of berries back over, Morgan would definitely say, 
Captain, we need to uh, move along uh, rather swiftly. Castrovellian authorities tend to, um, but there's a lot of red tape and we don't really want to be caught up in that because these berries will go bad. Okay, Morgan. It's, it's just, uh, yes, 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 you've, you've made your point. Does everybody agree Gadric, that we should continue Gadric forward? Gadric interrupts and points at Hestia, Roland. You two get those the berries back on. Rest of us, let's go up to the front and move these petrol containers out of the way. We got to get this shit out of the road. We got to go. Mm, question, question, question. No, and, and then Gadrick turns and walks. Question. Yes. Captain, could we, can we please take the robot? <laughs> we do not have time, Hestia. I, I apologize, but. but it is very we- little time. It is one lift onto the cargo. It could be invaluable. All right, you're wasting time now. Go get it. Uh, Morgan, mm-hmm. please keep your sensations open. Let us know how much time we have if people are approaching. Uh, Mr. Martel, please assist in myself in getting these berries back on the cart, and we need to leave immediately. Does anybody want to see what the goblins have on them as you're loading the yes. berries? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm going to task Hestia with that. since. Yeah, I'm fascinated with all of this tech, and goblins but be have quick. weird but you gotta be quick. All right. Yeah. So... Some of you load the Yara berries back onto your trailer. One of you grabs the junk bot decoys, spare parts, loads it onto the trailer as well. Somebody's gonna, uh, I believe Gadrick is gonna crank the cargo rig back yeah. up. And you loot the goblins and you find four, uh, well, you know, one for each, right? They each have a tattered flight suit, which won't do you much good. But they all have a dog slicer, which is a melee weapon. They all have a tactical semi-auto pistol with nine small arm rounds, and each has a cred stick with 50 credits. Yay, nice. Uh, nice. Yeah, I'll take a, I'll take a gun. Yeah, we'll, we can absolutely, y'all can sort the loot out. Yeah, we just take yeah. it. Yeah, we just you take just it take for it the time being. And it's time to go. Everybody loads up on, on the cargo rig and... With the sounds of sirens in the background, you all make your way back to your ship, folks, and we will see you. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Yes. Well, congratulations. Good job, we guys. didn't die. We well, yes. didn't die. Our and first. you have procured some real live guns. Actual real we have life. guns now. We got the pee Yep. Yeah. All right. Finally. That's two down, folks. 